everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm so excited to share this Dollar Tree haul with you. It is the last Easter basket haul that I have with my final three baskets. It's crazy that I'm here. Um, I haven't started building them yet and they're due on Monday and today is Thursday. So I have a very busy weekend ahead of me. Um, I've been sick. I was sick, I started to feel better and then I got full-fledged sick again. So if I sound a little congested, I don't know if I do and I will probably cough off and on because when I talk, I cough and that's why I've been kind of not recording. So we are gonna get started with my last three baskets if you haven't already please consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget the bell button because then you're notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things will help my channel very much and i appreciate them very very much so my three themes in this video are disney princesses toy story and hot wheels those are the last three that i landed on when i went out shopping i had a few more i wanted to do but i haven't been out shopping all week because I've been sick and so this is where we're at so with all that let's get started first of all here's everything loaded into one remember I'm doing two baskets per theme so this is two baskets worth of stuff and I got the blue tealish basket and a pink one and I usually just have them stacked and sitting until I'm gonna build them but I've been separating them out so that I can show you all the items um, and then I just re put them in that basket and restack them so first of all I got two of these they're the shrink and plays <coughs> excuse me um and it's really neat it makes like a disney princess castle thing here and then you shrink down these little characters and you kind of just play dolls with them and on the back it shows that it comes with the little holders so that they'll stand up i think these are really fun and really neat so it says it comes with two sheets of ready to assemble scene two colored shrink art sheets and six plastic stands and an instruction sheet so everything you need to build like this cute little like princess house i love that i got a paw patrol one too if you watch my haul that had a paw patrol um basket in it all right and then i did pick up two of these they are frozen so a disney princess because some things like it's not just disney princesses it's specific and i was just finding what i could find and this is a jumbo on the go adventure you get like the background scene with like the stickers yeah, and then you can fold it up and take it with you. I love these things. I think they're really, really cute. So I pick them up whenever they have them for the themes I'm doing. So it grabbed those and Frozen to add to the princesses basket. As well as this, it's Disney Princesses. And it's one of their, like, comic books. And so I thought that was really cute. It says collect all four. So we have Disney Princesses, Frozen, Mickey, and Toy Story. I don't think I found the Toy Story one for my Toy Story basket. I, if I did, I would have put it in there. But just like, you know, like kind of like a book, but not for reading. So I loved that and grabbed it to put it in there. I grabbed this. It's a two pack of the little bags. We have like just all the Disney princesses and then three of the Disney princesses. So I'll split them up and put one per bag. This one says Believe at the top. That's really cute. <coughs> Excuse me. And so... I thought that was really cute. I like to grab those little bags. Kids love bags. They fill them up with whatever and carry them around. Then I grabbed these. They are the paint your own posters. And so you get two princesses in here. I can't remember her name. This one came out after my kids kind of stopped watching it. And I, I know it's the princess and the frog, I think. I can't remember her name. And we have Cinderella as the other one. And you get the little paints and a little paintbrush, so a fun little activity. Let me know in the comments what her name is. It starts with a T. It starts with a T, right? It's like right there, I can't think of it. All right, then we got the Disney or tattoos, the temporary tattoos. You get 35 of them in here. It's just one sheet with 35 tattoos. How cute, how cute are those? And kids love fake tattoos, they just do, it's a thing. I don't know if you ever grow out of it either. For the St. Patrick's Day parade we did, um, we all, grown-ups and kids, we all put on fake tattoos. They weren't very good, though. They peeled right off. Um, and then I got these. They are just a little light-up princess mask. And I thought that was really cute. It's very, like, masquerade ball. But, you know, it's not like a Disney princess, but it's a princess. And I thought it was adorable, so I grabbed that one for each of them. 
And then I wanted to do a tiara too for each of them, but I found two of these, but one of them was missing its gem. So I only picked up one of the tiaras this style. So the other one I picked up this style. So one will get like this light up tiara, the other one will get this. But I mean, a tiara is a tiara and they're both, they're both super cute. So that's from the Let's, Let's Pretend brand at Dollar Tree. This is kind of a staple at Dollar Tree. You find them pretty regularly there except for when you look for them because that's how I roll and I couldn't find any other ones like I said it was literally just two and one was missing a gem but I also didn't do a ton of shopping for these I only went to like a couple stores and was able to collect everything I needed I got some coloring books two different ones which I love they're both Disney princess jumbo coloring and activity books um, this one says that you get something on the back Includes a door sign on back cover. So it's Bell and it says Blank's Room. <coughs> and I think it says on here, with the help of an adult, cut out on the cut dotted lines and write your name. Um, I'm pretty sure with most of these, I've picked up the, the different books on a lot of them, that it's pretty much the same pictures like in different order. I could be wrong though. I have one box of crowns. I picked up another box of crowns at Five Below. And I only found one princess one. And similarly, I only found one princess one at Dollar Tree. So that way, both baskets will get princess crowns, which is awesome. This one has a 24 pack. I think the five below ones were a 35 pack, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong. All right, more just little fun things are these little surprise bags. I think these are awesome. So what you get in here is a surprise collectible character. So you don't know which princess you're going to get. And then you get a mini coloring act activity book and a sticker sheet with three markers. So just like a fun little activity shindig to do, like especially like car rides and stuff if you have little kids. Those are great. And then I picked up two different sticker books. I got this one, which is the mixture Tatiana. Is her name Tatiana? <clears throat> so this one we have Pocahontas. No, no, that's Moana. My brain is not on today because Moana, that's funny because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, Ariel, Cinderella, I think it's Tatiana now that I, I don't know. And then we have Ariel over here from the live action movie. So love having the different ones. Both of them, you get four sheets of stickers and over 150 stickers. <coughs> All right. What else? What else? Um, I found... Kind of towards the end, they came out with these chalks, and it, it was $1.25, obviously. Everything, except for one item, which I'll tell you at the end, um, was $1.25, but you get the four, and they're wrapped. So chalk, to me, is like nails on a chalkboard. Cotton balls and chalk. Like, it gives me the heebie-jeebies to touch it. Oh, and the sound of chalk on concrete. Oh, my gosh. So I love it, though, that they cover them so that that way your fingers aren't all over the chalk and it makes them cute so I think that that's neat but um it's a four pack it's got the different princesses on each one we have seriously a whole new world her I I can't I can't think of it I think she's Rapunzel right from Tangled Little Mermaid you probably are all like come on Amber like they're princesses and Belle I always love the princesses and I love this movie Okay, nope. Prince Ali. I, I don't know. I just can't. I can't. My brain is not on today. It is not on. This is the first day that I've like gotten up and gotten dressed. No, yesterday I kind of did. And then I like laid back down. I didn't feel good again. All right. I also found in here <clears throat> a couple of the little keychain. Um, what do they call them? Figural bag clips these are the only two characters i found at one of the stores i only found a bunch of snow whites and they were really high up and so i was like i can't reach them forget it um and then when i went to a different store the other store i went to i found the two different ones i found the ariel and the snow white in this collection you can also get cinderella or tinkerbell i i usually go lean towards cinderella she's probably one of my favorite princesses when i like when i look at the stereotypical princess um, with like a ball gown and everything, but I love Moana a whole lot. So it's, I, I like different princesses based on different things. I guess that makes sense, right? I feel like that makes sense. All right. I did find some night lights in the Disney princesses. So I grabbed those to toss in there as well. And the two different ones. I want to name the princesses again, but 
Mulan? Is she Mulan? My brain is not on. Belle, Cinderella. And then we got Snow White, Moana, and Cinderella. My brain today. Oh my gosh. So these are super cool. They're the LED ones. So they have like the little LED light, which is awesome in there too. So got those to toss into these. And I have mentioned, because I know I'm an overbuyer. I know this about me, that I might put together some like little mixed baskets if I have too many items in all the baskets. Um, so we'll see as I start putting them together. Um, I think these are super neat. They're the little color, what do they call them? Design a vinyl. Includes one vinyl and three markers. The markers are down in the bottom down here. And we have Ariel and Flounder as the three. And you get red, tan, and green, which I guess you kind of can put it together with those colors. So um, I picked up one of one for each of the baskets of those. Um, I got some bubbles. They were the princess bubbles. I was finding bubbles at Five Below too, and I like those ones because they had like the little like character heads on top. But um, these ones work just fine too in the baskets. Let's see, we're almost done with princesses. Um, these little guys, I've picked these up for any and all of them that I could find. You can get, what do you have in here? An activity art set. Um, is this one that doesn't tell you? You get an activity pad, stickers, and markers. I don't know if it tells you, but yeah. So that's just another fun, like, kind of on-the-go thing. It shows you on the back here. Oh, my gosh, it is driving me crazy because I know her name, and I can't. My brain cannot find it. <sighs> don't you, like, when your brain just doesn't want to work? Doesn't it just drive you crazy? <coughs> All right. Um, and then, okay, I'm not, I thought I was missing something. We got this one. Um, they're just like the little eight color pens. One of them's the, just full on Disney princesses. The other one is a little mermaid. Like I said, some things I picked up in like specific princesses and others are just like the general. I think they all work. And so got those to go in there. So this basket will have pens and crowns. And then last, that's like Princess Princess branded. And then I've got a few things that aren't too, are these. Darn it, it doesn't say her name on here. I was hoping it would. Um, and it's these just little fashion sets. I mean, they fit Barbies, I believe. But I thought they were cute. We have Frozen. Is she Elsa? I can't remember Elsa's sister's name, though. And then um, I think it's Tatiana. I'll have to ask Lorelai. She's upstairs. When she comes downstairs, I'm going to have to have her t help me with my brain. All right. And then for these, I thought it would be cute to add in like this pretty little mirror. So these are the backs of them. I got pink and purple, but they have some other colors. I know they had black. Let's see if I can, without showing like everything. So it's a nice mirror on there. Um, and I thought, you know, just, it just fit the theme to me in my brain. So I got those as well as these pretty brushes with the florals on the handles. And I like getting things that are useful because I've mentioned before, if you've been following me, these baskets kind of go to an underprivileged population. And so if you get like these useful things too, as well as the toys and stuff that they don't get as many of, then, um, you know, it just has that, that use to it. And I love these brushes from Dollar Tree. I think they're so pretty. Um, I wanted to do a hair band. I think I got this before I got like the tiaras and stuff, but how cute is this? It's like this clear plastic and it's full of stars and it's kind of like a shaker style. So if you like shake them all down and so it's by the Dollar Tree brand, the fashion mode, I guess is what the brand is distributed by Greenbrier. And I just thought they were really cute and fun. And then I didn't find Disney princesses toothbrushes, but these ones had come out while I was shopping and so I figured I know that this is um rainbow high not Disney princesses but what a great toothbrush so you know I'm going to toss in the better toothbrush where I can even though it's not exact because why the heck not what a great toothbrush that is I'll just kind of hide it in the back and then they'll have a toothbrush whoever whatever kiddo gets that so that's the Disney princesses one I am I'm apologizing now for my brain today. Like, it is not on. <clears throat> We're going to do the best we can to get through the rest of this. My goal is to do a haul for Saturday. And I am just, I'm struggling today, guys. All right, the next one I'm going to show is Toy Story. I got these baskets. I just got two red ones for Toy Story. 
these are baskets that I got for a ton of different baskets. I think they're great. I love them. Um, they hold a good amount of stuff. I think they'll be perfect for a lot of these. So, dropping, dropping stuff. That was a nightlight. All right. So, Toy Story. Let's. I, Toy Story was harder this go around than usual. I couldn't find the little figurines. Never came across them. Um, and I, like I said, I've been sick, so I couldn't keep going to stores because um, I took this week. I just have been sick. <coughs> but I did find these at Dollar Tree. Look how gigantic these coloring books are. It does say gigantic coloring and activity book, and they're not wrong. Like, this is so much thicker than the typical coloring book. Let's see, can I get to the princess one? So this one's a jumbo one, so this one's even a big one. But, like, look at that. It's, like, double the jumbo coloring book for the Toy Story one, which I thought was awesome. Totally dug that. They only had the one, and I was glad to find two of them because, you know... So I got the coloring books, super excited about that. Like, that made my day when I found those. Um, I did find these, and these are, I only found one of these, and then I found a stack of these. So I grabbed one of each. And these are like those little sticker play things. Um, this one is reversible, three scenes. You get over 40 color forms. Um, and it's Mr. Potato Head. And Mrs. Potato Head, how cute are these? And you get all the stickers to like decorate the Mr. Potato Head. And I know that this doesn't say Toy Story, but Mr. Potato Head is a main character in Toy Story. So it absolutely works. And then um, I picked this one up, which is very similar, slightly different with all the faces and stuff. And then the different backgrounds that you do. And this one you get over 70 color forms and the Mr. Potato Head. So love that. Then they did have a lot of Lightyear stuff out, not so much Toy Story. So I did grab some of the stuff that's Lightyear branded because Buzz is a Toy Story character. And this is another one of those color form things, but it's all like the Lightyear characters. I never watched Lightyear, so I don't know a lot about it. I'm a Toy Story fan. I don't know about Lightyear though. Um, and then I found... Um, for the crayons in here, these are the ones I came across. It's three eight packs, 24 total crayons. I really hope they're different colors in each of the boxes, not the same. But they're the Lightyear branded ones. They'll be fine because they're crayons, they'll color. So I grabbed that. Um, sticking with Mr. Potato Head because that's what I was finding. They had this Crayola activity pad. And how cute is this? It's 25 pages and two sticker sheets. And so, like, there are, like, activity pages, coloring pages. Spot the difference? Yep, spot the difference. Find, find and circle the watch. So all these just cute little activities and stuff in here. Um, find and circle the bunny slippers. So just really cute. I bet the stickers are really cute, too. Are they at the beginning? Yeah, oh, my gosh, they are. So super cute for that. So I got that to add in to there. And then we got, what else we got going? Um, these books, it's an infinite, an infinite friendship. So we got Buzz. I didn't find hardly anything Woody. Like I couldn't find. So like anything that has this with the characters on it, I'm all for it. Here's my little favorite alien guys. Um, them and the Claw, love them. So I got those books storybooks to put in there we got a couple of the paint things to be able to paint <coughs> they were light year because that's again what I could find so grabbed those so that whoever gets this one can paint some stickers these are like the um, good job stickers but um, why the heck not right they're really cute I can't remember if I got stickers at Five Below or not, because I know I have a few items that I got at Five Below that were Toy Story. But got that, so it's super cute. And again, if I have a lot of extras, I'm just going to make a combination basket and um, do those as well. I got these little pencil cases with um, Bo Peep. Right, yeah, Bo Peep and Woody and Buzz on the other side. So those are really cute. They don't, neither of them have price tags, but the lady scanned them, whatever, with other stuff. You know, you know how Dollar Tree rolls. And then we have some playing cards. 
their match. Let's make a match. Um, Toy Story playing cards. So those are super cute. Like I said, the one thing I'm sad that I didn't find is the little figurines, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, and then they have these. They're just little puzzles, and this is a Pixar puzzle, so it's not necessarily Toy Story, but there's a Toy Story section on there, Finding Nemo, which is one of my other favorites, and um, these guys, The Incredibles. So that's cute. It's ages four and up, so I thought that, you know, that would be cute to put in there, just that little puzzle and then nothing else is branded but it's stuff that I thought worked for Toy Story so they have the little army men I have a hard time finding like the little army men at my stores but they had these they're the super stretch toys like an army man and so I mean it it works right like it's just like stretchy and will like stretch out but it's like a big old army man and it gives that just vibe of the little army man and then they do a lot of their talking with a little etch-a-sketch on the movie so I got these little Etch-a-Sketches because I thought that that would just go well with the theme. They also have Slinky Dog and they have these gigantic Slinkies right now in stock. I mean, I know it's not Slinky Dog, but again, it just kind of gives the idea of um, the movie. And then last, almost last, um, I got this AirPlay stuff. Really, it was just kind of colors and toys, and so I grabbed it. I don't think that my brain is anywhere that it's, like, actually the movie, but kids love this stuff, and it just seemed like it would work. So we have the Air, Air Oplay Air Dries. So you make it into something, and then it'll dry, I guess. Um, we have had messes with those so we don't allow those in our house anymore and then I've been doing a toothbrush for everyone and I didn't find a Toy Story toothbrush but I did find Spongebob I know Spongebob isn't Toy Story same thing with the princesses one though this is like a really good toothbrush it's the protect and clean and it's I think they vibrate um and it has an antibacterial cover how do you not you know grab like a really good toothbrush when you have the opportunity so I figured that'll work and I think it'll be just fine even though it's a Toy Story themed basket and better than just a generic toothbrush because why the heck not just why the heck not and I have toothbrushes for every single one and a lot of them are generic ones so if I think that it'll work better to trade it out I'll trade it out when I'm making them but I think ooh, I just bumped you guys let's fix you um, I think that'll work great all right the last one I have now for this haul is Hot Wheels so this is like the Hot Wheels basket I did. We did just the blue one because I thought that that made sense for Hot Wheels. So same basket, just blue. And um, I try to keep it as Hot Wheels themed as I could, but also Dollar Tree has a lot of fun car items. So by Hot Wheels themed, I did buy a bunch of track. Um, for each basket, I got two of these ones, the just the long straight tracks to go in there um so they'll get two of those and then one loop-de-loo <coughs> this one is the just it says loop h will loop so they'll get one loop-de-loo two of the long tracks and then they have these little launchers so they'll each get a launcher in there and then these which are ramps so they'll each get one ramp, one launcher, two long tracks, and a drop and stuff. So that is that, like the Hot Wheels track stuff like that. Then, of course, you don't do a Hot Wheels basket without getting Hot Wheels. So let's see. I got several cars for each basket. Um, here's two of them. I was kind of trying to go with the ones that say, like, they're race cars or try to go kind of racer style, I guess. So this one is like, let's, says let's race at the top. This one just looked like a fast, like race car. And so I was trying to be mindful of that. Um, see, there's this one. This one's cool, it's braille. So it has braille writing on it. They have several colors that they've come out with, with the braille ones now. This one says holiday themed vehicles. And I just like the colors on them. So I grabbed that one. Then we got this one, it's the Hot Wiler. It's kind of like a dog truck thing. 
and it's also the let's race which i think is a show because it says available on netflix i have no idea but um i was just trying to get fun hot wheels and i think there's two more they're down there because i got a total of three per basket but then i also picked up a couple of the hot wheels trucks these are like the only two they were sitting kind of by themselves and there's two so i grabbed them um, and they're both fun, just like the Mega Trucks, Bone Shaker and Demo Derby is what they say. So grabbed those. Um, then they have had for a while now, and I'm glad I found the little boxes that are Hot Wheels themed. So you can fit six cars in each of these to take kind of on the go or store or clean up or whatever. So we'll put the Hot Wheels um, box in there. Here's the other two Hot Wheels cars. So we have a Rockin' Railer, which is also from the Let's Race. And this is Unleashed to Supercharged. El Seguinito Coupe. So, I don't know, try to get cars that look like they'd be fast, but not like, I didn't, I usually go for like when I buy cars, like the Maseratis and like the fancy cars. I was just grabbing cars. All right, I got a book for each one. We got this one. It says to the extreme. This one is shark attack because I do have like a big thing that's like shark attack um, playset thing. But they'll each get a storybook in there. And then so they're this kind of style of book. So a little bit more advanced readers, not like very beginning beginner readers. But they'll each get a Hot Wheels book. I did grab the giant coloring poster it's over three feet wide um it's 29.4 inches by 26 and a half inches can be used on walls floors or table so it looks like this when it gets pulled out to color so i thought that'd be neat and i'll just have some hot or uh, crayola crayons in this one <coughs> which <clears throat> i've hauled in previous hauls they got these. I don't do slime in my house, so I always am very wary of slime when I put them in gifts. But these are a collect them all, kind of like a blind bag. You don't know what you're going to get. Slime and cars inside. There's either eight flick cars or seven pullback cars. Collect them all. I don't know if you get two in here or one. It feels like one. And the slime feels like it's a very little bit of slime. So, got that. It looks like this if you were to try to figure out which ones you might get. And then that's for Hot Wheels branded items. And then they had Hot Wheels branded toothbrushes. So, of course, I grabbed those because they match. Brush Buddies, you get the little cap. It says collect all five caps. Oh, they are different. They are like the kind that if you kind of change in the lighting... But the toothbrushes are the same. So got those. One toothbrush, one cap. They're soft. It doesn't really give an age on these ones, though. So then Dollar Tree has fun car things, too. So I did grab one of each. So I got two of these. I'm trying to grab them at the same time. They're the car repair shop. And these, they're cute. We've put together the little car wash they're just a little plastic thing you put together and they're really cute they fit the hot wheels right in them so we got that they have the auto services which i don't know what the difference between the auto i guess this is like to get an oil change and then the repair is like tires i don't know they seem like they'd be let's see auto services says oil tires brakes and exhausts on the sticker that you put right there the car repair doesn't tell you what you're repairing you're just repairing anything other than that stuff, I guess. And then they have the car wash. The car wash is the one we did, and it's really cute. You put it in there, and it'll kind of turn around and stuff. So got that as well. And then they put out some new novelty pins, which I was really excited about because they don't usually do novelty pins for boys. And these were in the fun find section, and it's a little pen. But the wheels also spin and so i grabbed a red one and a blue one to add into here because that is too darn cute they have like the little headlights in black and so i don't know i just thought that was too darn cute because they never they never do novelty pens for boys it's always for girls 
And then in the um, plus section, because like I said, everything was $1.25 except um, one thing. And I got this. It's like a bigger racetrack that like is a drag, kind of like a drag thing. And it starts up here. It goes down to the finish. I'm going to look to see if you need batteries. It doesn't say you need batteries. Assembly required. I was wondering if it lights up or anything. It must not. But it says it's 24 pieces. You put your cars up here on the top, it looks like, and then you lift it, and it lets them both go at the same time, and then whoever reaches the finish line first. So that's pretty cute, right? So I got that for one of them. I got like a car mat thing from Five Below for the other one. So they'll both get kind of like that bigger toy. I try to do that for all of them. We'll see kind of where I'm at once I start putting them all together. I do believe I'll have to run out for some last minute items as I'm putting together the baskets because I'm sure that there's some things that are gotten forgotten. Um, and then real quick, I just have a small stack of things that I picked up because um, I had I have an ongoing list of like when I realize I need to pick things up. So for my snack and um, sock basket, I didn't have the Fruit Loop socks, but I had Fruit Loop things. And so I saw them, I grabbed them to toss them in there. I did find a Lucky Charms bath bomb. I was looking for the little food bath bombs. I don't think I have anything else Lucky Charms branded, so I might get like the little cereal to add to that. Because um, like I said, I'm gonna have to run out. I have kind of a space slash experiment basket going. And so I saw these socks and I thought they were so cute. So I'm gonna add the socks to that as well as the, they call them galaxy stickers. So it's got like all the planets and stuff. I only have one basket of that going on. So um, I grabbed that for that particular basket. My little girl like with the dolls and stuff basket, I needed another book. This one's the Easter Bunny's Big Day. It's an Easter gift, so I figured why not. They'll, that basket, they'll each get two books in there. And this cute little board book about the Easter Bunny. And then for the littler boys, like preschool boys, I needed another coloring book. And I had one of these in one of them. So that way they'll each get a coloring book and this sticker activity book. Um, and then this one is like a big old, another, it's a pretty thick, not quite as thick as the Toy Story one, but trucks and things that go, which is like the theme that I was going for, for that kind of baskets, kind of tools, cars, things that go kind of idea. So those are the things that I picked up to go into those baskets. Um, I've been saying head over to Celebrating with Amber if you want to watch me build the baskets. I really mean it now because I'm at the last minute. Um, whether or not I'm not feeling great, I need to be putting together the baskets and I'll record myself doing that. So thank you so much for being here. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, and head over to Celebrating with Amber. Subscribe over there so you can see me put together the baskets, see the finished product. Um, I'll be back on Saturday with more Easter baskets, but not these Easter baskets. I am hosting Easter brunch at my house, and um, I'm going to do an Easter basket for my nieces and nephews because they're coming over. And of course, I need to give them an Easter basket that day. So I have some stuff that I picked up for them um, in my haul that you'll see on Saturday. So come back for that a little bit different style, but more Easter baskets because it's Easter basket season. All right, guys, thank you so much. Let me know down below out of these three what your favorite is. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.